probably get that team working pretty quick. If I <laughs> All right, but uh, we're gonna pick up a little bit. Last week, you know, uh, you know, science is not my subject. You know, I, I do good just to try to study history enough to teach it. But, uh, but, but like I said last week, my big thing is, at least in science, you should. In science classroom, you should teach science. You know, you shouldn't teach uh, a religion and say that it's science. You know, we do. I, like I said last week, I don't believe we could ever prove creation happened because I don't believe it was meant to be proven. That's where uh, faith comes in. You know, our whole uh, salvation is based on grace through faith. And so I don't believe we could ever prove it. But, uh, I mean, I believe we could prove that evolution is not a dogmatic theory, where uh, a dogmatic fact, you know, where it happened like that. But uh, just look what we looked at last week. Like I said, that's an inch on my computer screen. This, we, we saw this last week. The big difference, you know, if these were a scale, and these were six inches, like I said, on the computer screen, um, that bottom one would have to be uh, 221 miles long. That's a huge difference between 6,000 years and 14 billion years, right? A huge difference. You had, like I said, with evolution, we saw this last week. 14 billion years ago, there was a big bang. Four and a half billion years ago, uh, the earth was formed uh, by accident, and it was nothing but a big old rocky lump of nothing, really. Just just rocky, barren, and everything, and it stormed and thundered and lightened and rained on this uh, rocky earth for millions of years. And eventually, out of this, what they called the primordial soup, life appeared. And it was this one-celled amoeba, and it, um, and it reproduced, and, and it kept evolving into a more complex species. And... Um, about 300 million years ago, you had the first reptiles. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs died out. Uh, two and a half million years ago, the first human-like species appeared. And 200,000 years ago, humans appeared. And uh, like we said last week, it takes great faith to believe in that. You know, there's so many gaps in evolution. You know, they say uh, for creationists, well, whenever you can't explain something, that's where you say, well, that's where a miracle happened. They say, well, that's not science. Well, it's not science what they say either. There's so many gaps in there that they can't explain. Like we said last week, and ours is so much simpler. Look at this. 6,000 years ago, God spoke it all into existence. 4,500 years ago, there was a great flood. 2,000 years ago, uh, Jesus was born uh, in the flesh. Uh, that, that's a lot simpler the way we believe that, but that's a huge difference, right? 14 billion years, 6,000 years. 6,000 years doesn't even begin to compare to 14 billion years ago. So somebody's wrong, you know? I mean, it's not just a little uh, a little slight difference. Somebody is wrong. But one of the big issues that we talked about, uh, well, I mentioned this at the end last week, is dinosaurs. Where did they fit in? You know, um, dinosaurs have become a huge problem to people who believe in creation and believe in God's Word, and it shouldn't be so. God created the dinosaurs, and the Bible says that uh, all of God's creation, that the heavens declare the glory of God. You know, that all his creation should declare his glory. It should be used against him. I mean, he, he created them, and so I think he knows when they were created. But if dinosaurs, uh, if dinosaurs lived for, uh, uh, they ruled the earth for about 140 million years, the evolutionists say, about 140 million years, about 65 million years ago, they became extinct. 65 million years is a lot longer than 6,000 years. Well, when did they appear? You know, people will ask uh, Christians that uh, all the time, and I heard one lady on television say, well, Satan may have planted those bones there, those fossils of those dinosaurs. He may have just planted them there. Well, come on now. But I believe the dinosaurs existed. I believe they were here on this earth. I believe there was really a Tyrannosaurus Rex. There was really a Brachiosaurus, all that. But when did they exist? And if the earth is only 6,000 years, and Jesus said uh, that uh, in the beginning, he that made, uh, that he made male and female in the beginning, Adam and Eve. You know, Jesus pointed back to Genesis and everything. And so uh, Exodus says that in six days, the Lord created the heavens and the earth. Uh, Genesis says that on six days, he created all the land creatures. So if dinosaurs lived, they had to live alongside with man. And people will say, well, that's ridiculous. Where did you ever get an idea like that? And I'll say, why is it ridiculous? And the, the only thing they can ever say is, well, I heard or I read that they lived millions of years ago. Well, go out and dig up a fossil and, and judge it yourself and tell how old. 
Fossils don't talk. You can't, you know, you can't put it up your ear and it says, you know, made 65 million years ago in Mexico, you know, something like that. They don't talk. You know, so the only thing we have to go by uh, is God's word. The National Geographic said at, at the bottom right there, no human has ever seen a live dinosaur. You know, do they know that or do they think that? Do they, you know, to know to know that for a fact, they have to ask everybody who ever lived. They, I don't think they asked Doug. I don't think they asked Kerry Joe if they ever seen a dinosaur. Now, Doug, Doug and Kerry Joe probably never seen a dinosaur, but. <laughs> but, but, but they, they have to ask everyone who ever lived. Did they ask Moses? Did they ask Noah? Did they ask Adam and Eve? If they were created, then Adam and Eve must have seen dinosaurs. And so, like I said, you know, people say, "Well, it's preposterous that that they lived that uh, that that they lived with man." Why? It's the only thing. It's just what we said with evolution. It's indoctrinization. If people are being indoctrinated and all that stuff, just about every book that little children will see about dinosaurs will either start off in one of two ways. One, no human has ever seen a dinosaur. Or the other way, it might say millions and millions of years ago. And like we said, how do you know that? How do you know? The title of this little kid's book is You Never Source. You know? Uh, they're talking, they went extinct millions of years ago. They're talking here, millions of years ago, huge dinosaurs walked the earth. And I believe in, I believe there were dinosaurs. You know, I think that would be pretty ignorant to say that dinosaurs never existed. There were dinosaurs. But when did they live? They lived with man. And, and do we have any proof of that? I believe there's plenty of proof that they lived with man. Um, Dr. Seuss even tries to teach that uh, they were millions of years ago. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years long before you were born. And they all go by this one nifty little word right here, fossils. Fossils. Like we said, what do fossils prove? Fossils, you know, evolutionists say, well, you know, they found fossils that prove that this species turned into this species. Fossils don't tell you anything in fact, except that something died. It doesn't tell you when, it doesn't tell you how, all that stuff. It just tells you that something died. And you look in science books, and there, there's two ways, and, and this, this is ridiculous here. You say, well, how, how old do you, how do, you think, how do you find out, how do you know how old a fossil, a bone is? And they'll say, well, we know that by what layer of dirt we find it in, what layer of strata we find it in. Flip over the page in your science book, and it'll say, how do you know how old the strata is, how old the dirt is? Well, we know how old that is by what bones we find in there. Now hang on, think about that. We know how old the fossils are by what, where in the dirt they're found. We know how old the dirt is by what fossils are found there. That's what you call circular reasoning. That, you know, that's coming up with a test that only proves what you believe anyway. You know, you can sit there, like, like you can take God's word and make it say whatever you want it to say if you take it out of context. But you know, the whole thing with dinosaurs, and there probably are things out there that, that may point to them being millions of years old, but there's plenty of things that point to them being within the last 6,000 years. You know, it's like if you find a, a, a sunken ship and you want to know, well, when did this ship sink? And there's, there's treasure in the treasure chest and everything in the ship. You don't go through that uh, chest and find the oldest coin that's buried there. You go through and find the youngest coin there because obviously if the youngest coin, the ship couldn't have sank, you know, before that day. You know, and it's the same thing here. There's so much evidence that proves that they, uh, didn't live that uh, that long ago. Billy Graham, and, and I love Billy Graham. I love Billy Graham, but he had it wrong here, completely. He, he's one of those who believes in one of those theories I was talking about last week. Uh, you know, they asked him, were there dinosaurs on Noah's Ark? He said, no, uh, Noah's Ark apparently did not include dinosaurs. The reason is because dinosaurs and similar ancient creatures that we know only from fossils were extinct by the, di by the time God created the earth. Now, hang on, that's Billy Graham. Now, I like Billy Graham, but that's wrong. It's going back to what we talked about last week, the gap theory and the day age theory where people thought that in that gap theory there was millions of years before, between Genesis 1-1 and 1-2 and that that's where all the dinosaurs lived and they died off. But the biggest problem with that is that puts death before sin, which is a huge heresy in God's Word. The Bible says in, in, in 2 Corinthians, the Bible says in Romans, that sin brought death into the world. If death happened before sin, then that means God was the author of death. 
And he's not. You know, the Bible said that sin came into this world because man sinned. So Billy Graham had it wrong. So I do believe there were dinosaurs on the ark. But then what happened to them? You know, uh, I believe they were on the ark. And I believe the Bible talks about dinosaurs. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. But uh, I believe uh, there was a firmament and everything that we've talked about in Genesis that that the atmosphere was completely different before the age of the flood. I believe the world we're living in today is just a dump compared to what it used to be before the flood. I believe it was pretty nice before the flood. But compared to what the way it is now, to the way it was before then, I believe it's completely different. I believe many of them died off after the flood. And the worst thing, the, the, the second thing, I believe uh, they were probably hunted off. And we'll look at this. And they, you know, you may think, well, this, this sounds ridiculous, but hang on. We'll look at this, okay? Alright. I took I took a picture of Jimmy after he went. Jimmy's not here. The lights are dim. I can't see back there too But it's like bears. How do you, how do you know bears ever existed here with man? You know? Today, how many bears do you see running loose in Shannon? None. But before we came here, before this was settled and everything, you probably saw bears, you know, hundreds of them around this area and everything. But what happened? When man moved in, they moved out. And they become, and you look on the endangered list, there's many types of bears on the endangered list. Why? Because man pushed them out of their habitat and everything. You know, just because there aren't bears here now doesn't mean there weren't bears here, you know, before we came here. And, and, and I believe it had the same thing. On that now, people say, "Well, the Bible does not say dinosaurs. You can't find." And if you go on, on the internet on one of those Bible websites and type in the keyword, and you can do that in some, and type in dinosaur, there will not be one word one word appear. And that's because the word dinosaur was never even invented until 1851. And the King James version of the Bible was written in 1611, if I'm not mistaken, 1611. 1611. So that's, you know, 230 years before the word dinosaur was ever invented. But the Bible and all different civilizations on all continents talk about dragons. You know, and you hear dragons in storybooks and you think about, you know, saving the princess from the dragon and all that stuff. But maybe there's some merit behind these dragons. The Bible itself mentions dragons 34 times. And I believe, and, and you know what the dinosaur, the word dinosaur means terrible lizard. And, and that's what dragons were in, the, in this time. And you think, well, dragons are mythical, but look at a dragon. What does it look like? It's like a dinosaur, you know? Uh, but uh, but uh, a lot of uh, things you can read in uh, ancient uh, scripts and, and a lot of uh, history books and, and uh, medieval storybooks and everything talk about killing these dragons. For me, because they're a menace, uh, to be a hero, to prove superiority competition. And medicinal purposes, there are so many uh, recipes from um, a couple thousand years ago that call for a dragon's heart or uh, a dragon's toenail or things like that. You, you, you hear about that, you, you think of like Shrek or some storybook that you read at night, but these were actual recipes that called for uh, something of a dragon, uh, dragon's blood to be used as medicine and everything and all, all this old stuff. And why would that be if there was no such thing as some kind of dragon? Yeah. Alright, the Epic of Gilgamesh that's read in schools talks about him slaying a dragon. <coughs> All these. Alexander the Great, which is actual history studied uh, in 8th... Uh, you don't get an Alexander the Great in that grade, do you? That, that's in 8th uh, grade history. Uh, it talks about when they were conquering part of what's now India and everything, that them being scared off by the dragons in the cave. And, and such as that. And there's dragons all throughout uh, history. Viking ships were created after this. Where did they get the image for that if, if man had never seen a dinosaur? Uh, and look at this. Uh, David, cut the lights up just a little bit and everything. If you have your Bibles, I want you to look at this with me, okay? 